Blondie is a punk band. It's the very definition of a punk band. But your number one hits don't sound like the typical, quote, punk songs. Heart of Glass, just to pick one example, mm-hmm. kind of picked up with disco at a time when there was some blowback about disco. Yeah. Talking about it's ruining music. And my question here is, were you aware at the time of the seeming conflict, if you will, between Image, Blondie, great punk band, but their number one songs run a, a full course of different kinds of music? Yeah. Well, we were, I don't know if we were intentionally trying to break rules, but we were trying to expand our own um, experience and and. I don't think that we actually were a traditional punk band in that in that sense. We were uh, trying to be experimental in, in our way, and we were always sort of developing and, and sort of reaching out and embracing different uh, styles of music that, you know, we admired and, and that we liked and we felt... Uh, you know, we're, we're sort of a part of our reference. I mean, that's the great thing about New York City is that, you know, there's, there's always been different styles of music, ethnicities, and, um, you know, jazz. We've, we've had great influences, and it's always been very expansive. And I, and I think w- along with the spoken arts and the poets and, and how all of this has sort of evolved and sort of embraced one another and fed off and bounced off. It's just sort of, uh, it's been very exciting. I, I think that that's one of the reasons that, uh, you know, people come to New York. That's why I came to New York. What you did, what you have done and what you're still doing reverberated and an influence on Madonna, Lady Gaga, Cindy Lauper, a long line of people who, who followed in your wake. Were you aware of that at the time? Not especially, no. As I, as I say, you know, I was um, maybe short-sighted, I don't know, but I was uh, more concerned with achieving the things that I, I wanted to achieve for myself. And um, it wasn't really until much later that, you know, I, I think in, I think uh, sort of in, uh, maybe it was the late 1980s, you know, somebody had referred to me as an icon, and I thought, oh, isn't that some kind of a Russian religious <laughs> statue or something? I, you know, because I can, iconography or be, becoming an icon or saying that people are icons um, really started happening then. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't really know if I liked it very much, but... Um, you know, that's, it's just semantics, right? It's just words. Mm-hmm.